Let's chase him down in the Taos. All right, major differences here, rear wheel drive or front wheel drive to all wheel drive, folks, major. Let's just put it in manual here. First off, more grip with these wheel and tires. Much more grip. Corvette's moving, but I think I think he's going to be surprised when he sees a Taos on his ass. <laughs> here we go. Hello and welcome back to the Kyle Connor YouTube channel. You join me in the beautiful hills here with a nice ice cream store in New York, just outside of New York City, very close to where I grew up actually. And you're joining me with the brand new Volkswagen Tacos. Well, it's actually a Taos, but if I got one, I'd put a C here, so it would be Tacos. Uh, as you know, this is my channel where I get to share my personal opinions with you about cars, rant to you, talk to you about my experiences with them, and this isn't going to be a full review of this car. This is really a first taste opportunity for us to drive the car just for a couple minutes here. This particular one is the maxed out Taos. So let's go through the trim levels really quick, the engines, and then we're going to jump in and drive. The Taos starts at about $23,000, and that is for a front wheel drive 1.5 5 liter turbo engine making 158 horsepower every version gets that same engine but there are two transmission choices on offer the first is associated with the front wheel drive version the front wheel drive version comes with an eight speed torque converter auto now i just drove that car up here to sort of a midway stopping point and now i'm swapping into this the four motion all-wheel drive with a dual clutch it's got a seven speed dct very similar to other volkswagen transmissions that we have tested now you might be wondering why the driver's door is open and why i'm on the outside and that's because there's a b in the car and i don't like bees but i can show you around the cargo space at least while we're waiting back seats down man there's the b <laughs> that guy's gonna get out of the car as soon as possible uh so really awesome i'm gonna brave this one for you we have underfloor storage no, we don't. A little bit. We have a spare tire and a speaker, little subwoofer in the middle. Nice use of space. Let's leave the trunk open, hoping this guy leaves. It does take regular fuel, which is interesting for a turbo. That's nice. And this is really Volkswagen's entry level SUV, if you will. This is the smaller than the Tiguan, but built on the same MQB chassis as Tiguan and Atlas. And I think that is really interesting and really neat so we got to drive this because i i can't wait to see if the all-wheel drive uh drives differently than the front wheel drive overall i chose this spec because those are the best wheels and this is the best color everyone buys cars in boring colors including me i shouldn't complain but uh yeah don't buy cars in boring colors don't be me <laughs> so let's go drive the brand new Taos. It's not on sale yet. There's just a handful in the country. And a huge thanks to Volkswagen for inviting me out to drive this car. Jumping inside. If you see me freak out, it's because there's a B in here, of course. Engine start. Windows down. We want to get this B out as soon as possible. Sunroof shade open and sunroof open. How about that? I drove a front wheel drive without the sunroof just before and it honestly didn't feel that great. Love the sunroof. I think it's a necessary option if you like an open air experience. You also get drive modes with the all wheel drive. The front wheel drive does not get any of these. So you can't go eco normal sport. You can't customize your settings here. So you can go steering sport, drivetrain, adaptive cruise control, light assist, climate control. I think we're just gonna put everything in sport and we'll see if there's a driving difference between the two. Why won't it let me go? There we go. It says there's two pages. Music, off, we don't want copyright. Where's the second page? See those little two dots? How do I get over there? Oh, it's just left over from the home page. Interesting bit of app design. So inside, uh, instantly quality feels pretty good. I feel like I'm sitting up pretty high actually. And I think I'm sitting up higher in this one than the front wheel drive. Does that make sense? No, just pull this wheel over. Wheel comes nice and close. You can really get it adjusted to where you like. I love this center wheel piece that they're using on all these Vol Volkswagens. Feels really nice, same as ID4, same as Atlas. Everything's using this, really cool. You also get a ton of adaptive cruise control, lane assist, all this good stuff. Um, I think we should just drive it and we'll talk more. So you can go drive, park reverse neutral drive, sport. So that's all normal. Uh, same with all Volkswagens. The one thing I want to do though is change this gauge cluster. So let's go to 
settings. Here we go. This is where we can change it. I want it in the classic view. So now we can go here and now we get our gear and our speed. That's what I was looking for. It took me a little bit there. <laughs> no worries though. So there's that. Let's pull up our oil temperature, driving data, uh, oil temperature 192, perfect. And into D and off we go. The thing with the dual clutch that I like is you can actually feel the transmission working a bit. So let's close all of these things and hope the B got out. I'm not even gonna look. I just don't wanna know. Uh, so yeah, love a DSG because watch the revs here. First off, holding it like this off throttle hurts me. Now I know it's probably a wet clutch and it doesn't actually wear out, but auto start stop off for now. And <laughs> it's just fun to feel it work. It's kind of cool. So let's go back to nav and let's see really quick. All right, let's head out in the all wheel drive Taos. So foot down, let's do it. All right, interesting. Same engine as before, already noted that. As the before, you weren't, you didn't join me for before, but I drove a front wheel drive one earlier. And, uh, but a totally different transmission and totally different low speed driving characteristics between the two. Also, whoa, different handling characteristics. Okay, so Volkswagen will tell you, because this is what they told me. Oh, you can get front wheel drive, all wheel drive, no difference. Incorrect. Big difference can already tell you off the bat. So much more planted here in the four motion all wheel drive. The front wheel drive was super squishy, wasn't so pleased with it in a performance setting. I really liked it for a, you know, of course a highway cruiser, I thought it was good. Very comfortable, very quiet. But here instantly, I'm just noticing, not to say it's a hardcore cruiser, but it's way more, uh, set up for Volkswagen fun, I will say. So this is the one you're gonna want if you're a keen driver, I can already tell you. Let's, so we're already in sport mode. Um, nice, what do you say we try a launch really quick? So we'll just come to a quick stop right here. There's no one behind us, I don't think. Nope, and so to a stop, I don't wanna brake boost it for long on a DCT. So I'm just gonna build up a little boost and let it rock. Go, oh, soft launch. Now it locked the clutches. Wow, much more free to rev, totally different gear ratios. Third gear, you hit 60. Okay, wow, completely different character of vehicle than the front wheel drive under acceleration. The front wheel drive launched pretty hard. You could build up a ton of boost. So I would argue maybe even the front wheel drives faster than this if you launch them both correctly, uh, because this doesn't let you build the turbo boost. Of course, it's a dual clutch. It doesn't like to sit on the clutches. And the front wheel drive just spun the tires all the way through first gear. And this just hooked as you would expect. It's only 158 horsepower. It's not gonna have enough power to spin all Please four. Oh, shut up. Continue to follow the route 17 Okay, this lady's gonna keep talking to us, isn't she? So let's go headlights on for safety on these back roads because where we're going, I think it's gonna be pretty, pretty spicy. Uh, anyway, just cruising along. Love this car. Seriously, I think this is the Volkswagen of choice and specifically the four motion all-wheel drive one because this is a little firmer and not as soft. If you watch any of our out of spec reviews videos, if you notice our reviews on the Atlas, we were pretty disappointed in just overall how soft that car was. We would use the full travel of the suspension just under normal daily driving. You'd hit a bump and it would rebound twice. Stop talking. Um, and you know, here I was worried because it's the same chassis that it's gonna carry through. And in the front wheel drive, it sort of did. I was like, okay, well, this is a good city car, good highway car, but not fun in the mountains at all for the front wheel drive. And I would say that's true. The steering was way too light, suspension was way too loose, and it was as you would expect for a sort of like overly cushy car. This instantly feels, like I mentioned, tighter. So once the Subaru gets out of the way and we get out of this little town, we're gonna rip it a little bit. Here we go, some free space, full throttle, let's go. We got a Corvette in front of us, let's chase him down. In the Taos. All right, major differences here, rear wheel drive, or front wheel drive to all wheel drive, folks, major. Let's just put it in manual here. First off, more grip with these wheel and tires. Much more grip, Corvette's moving, but I think, I think he's gonna be surprised when he sees a Taos on his ass. 
<laughs> Here we go. So, maybe he's not moving so much. I thought he was really ripping. Anyway, uh, the suspension calibration in the all-wheel drive one, that's what we're in, is awesome. This is how it should be. You throw it in, it holds the weight. It's well damped. It, the steering is fantastic. Uh, everything is just one notch sportier than front wheel drive. Totally would go for it. The only real complaint I think I have is the downshifts on the transmission. Look, I'm in third, hit second. I'm at 2600 RPM downshift. When will it? I'm still pulling. Wow. And that is the laziest downshift I've ever felt. So I would say if you could get all wheel drive with the eight speed torque converter, that would be the one to have. Uh, so it's kind of a mix match. You get the really good suspension here with the all wheel drive, but surprisingly the dual clutch is worse than the torque converter. Who would have thought that? And also starts are harder for this. Uh, I'm just so surprised at the lack of immediacy from a dual clutch. Now upshifts under wide open throttle. Let's try that. Downshift a third. Thank you very much. I'm floored and upshift. Boom. So upshifts under load happen very quickly here, but downshifts, that is lethargic. Let's go into second, full power, come on. And it upshifts early too, the torque converter would rev out. And uh, yeah, he tried to get away from us there in the Corvette. How funny is that? He's probably like, who is this dude in a Volkswagen? Probably think it's like a little GTI or something. Uh, a manual would be so much fun. Okay, so the fun to drive Volkswagen hot hatch characteristic is here for sure. I was a little disappointed on a back road with the front wheel drive and now he's ripping it. He's wide open. So are we. Let's go. But we got a stop sign on the brakes hard. <laughs> we'll just follow him. I think that's really funny. He's probably like, what on earth? Full throttle. Let's go. Come on. React. Wow. The DSG is lazy. <laughs> here we go. Does let it rev out though when you hit past the kick down switch. That's good. So, awesome. Wow, hugely impressed here with the four motion all wheel drive Taos's uh, suspension setup. Look, when I go this, it's not really falling on its face. It's soft, it's compliant, you feel the bumps more for sure. So if you're looking for a comfy cruiser, like if you live in Florida and you're never gonna have snow, front wheel drive, perfect. It's gonna be comfortable. You get this great cabin, really nice materials, beautiful view really like all of the accoutrement of the Taos, or as I'm going to call it, the tacos. And uh, yeah, I would get the all-wheel drive though, especially living in Colorado, you would need it. But you know, this car, I think it's only like an $1,800 upcharge for all-wheel drive from front-wheel drive. You can get all the different trims, S, S, E, and S, E, L available in all-wheel drive. And that to me seems pretty nice. Um, yeah, look, revs out, but then there's a lag. It's like, doesn't know how to handle wide open shifts. It's like, oh, 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 you want the next gear? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Let's just put it in normal drive, normal, and drive it like how normal people would drive. Uh, but this isn't a review. This is my channel. This is how I would drive, and it's wide open all the time, brother. And yeah, but cruising along here at 55, let's try some driver assistance. So ACC on set at 52. Let's set it at 60. There we go, and travel assist activated. Okay, now it's steering. This is the coolest thing too. We're in a small, ra smaller than a RAV4, bigger than a Nissan Kick sized CUV. That's priced at, this one's low $30,000 range, but nearest makes no difference. It's a 20, high $20,000 car with a few less options, and it's driving itself. And you can option this package, I believe, on the base car. It's base car plus an assistance package. And I think you can do that. Oh, actually, it wants us to go to the right here towards Harriman State Park. That'll be a nice little road. So, uh, very impressed with the touch points, the feel. You know, everything you're looking at isn't necessarily like crazy high quality, but everything you touch feels nice. I really like this shifter. And it's one of the few shifters I felt that you push away from you to get into manual shifting mode. Most shifters you pull towards you, and I believe other Volkswagens you pull towards you as well. Um, Hmm, something like that. Let's go to the right. We'll just put it in sport and back into sport mode and full beans. Yeah, DSG just feels a little bit out of sorts there. You can feel it kind of clamp down on the clutches and shake a little bit. 
Uh, the car is quick enough. The 1.5 liter four cylinder, 153 or 158 horsepower, plus or minus, forget the exact number, but good enough. And um, yeah, what, what more do you really need? It gets, uh, they claim mid 30 MPG combined, 32, 33 combined, something like that. And we'll do all of our MPG testing when we get it back to Colorado. Looks nice, feels great, and honestly, it's just a really nice point in the market because you get so many cheap small CUVs, and then you get stuff like the Countryman, which is really the only premium small hatchbacky SUV type thing. And the Countryman's really good, but by the time you spec all the stuff this car has, by the way, it doesn't even have lane centering, the Mini, uh, you're into that thing for 50 grand for like a nice one. And you can spec, I think they start in the high 20s, but this is certainly uh, just way more contented, way more feature rich for the same amount of money. And honestly, they're about the same fun level to drive, all wheel drive to all four countrymen. Uh, the base countrymen, which I would say is this car's competitor, Volkswagen hasn't brought it up, but that's what I would compare it to because I like sort of premium, well put together cars. Um, this feels on point with that. Let's just rip it down through here. Full power. Yeah, it actually was limiting power there. So in the all-wheel drive mode, you actually get a ESP uh, sport setting, which you don't get in the front-wheel drive. Front-wheel drive, you can go ASR off, which is just front traction control, but ESP is always on. In this, you can turn ESP and back it down a little bit so it'll let it wiggle around and have some more fun. That seems pretty worth it to me. Uh, everything about the small upcharge for all-wheel drive seems worth it if you're a keen driver. And while this isn't really a review or buyer's advice, I would say just if you like a squishy car, get the front-wheel drive. If you like a sporty car, get the all-wheel drive. Simple as that. That's not a cool place to pull out Subaru right back right in front of that truck. Damn, we almost saw a smushed cross track. Um, what else is there to say about this? It's all wheel drive. We're gonna take it on some trails when we get it, of course. Should we do a nice acceleration run? I think so. So laggy on the downshift. Pulls nicely though. And the shifts are weird. Yeah, so the, the dream Taos for me is eight speed auto with all of the four motion suspension stuff. I wouldn't even entertain a front wheel drive. So thanks for joining me for a very impromptu quick drive of the Volkswagen Taos. Let's try the brakes out, shall we? And full brakes. Oh, <laughs> way better stopping performance than the uh, front wheel drive. That's all due to tire. The pedal is great. The brake pedal is firm. You get good ABS feedback through there. Woo, I like this car. I'm gonna recommend this to my sister. I brought her up in the Bronco Sport video, actually, which to me, it's kind of all in the same sizing of SUV, CUV thing. The Bronco Sport's more expensive. But I thought that this would be a really good car for her because she was looking at the Tiguan, uh, which is just being redesigned as well. And she, I don't think she needs the space. I think this is good. And by the way, they lease out, they claim $199 a month. They haven't told me how much down, but I'm sure it's not too much. Let's just say you're into this thing for a nice one for two, 80 a month, maybe 320 a month, something like that. This is a lot of car for the money, and you know what? It drives just like an Atlas, uh, or way better than the Atlas, I should say. But it's built on the same chassis of MQB. So, gotta love it. Love the way this thing gets into some corners. Let's try some of these higher speed corners. Look, I want a third gear here. I don't want to be in fourth, but let's just see how it is just to pitch it in. Nice body support. Feels nice under braking, throw it in a little harder than need to. Great steering. Everything here has the hallmarks for a good car, just not the front wheel drive for me. So all wheel drive Taos, check mark. Front wheel drive Taos, X mark. See you on the next one.